Okay, this is how I got this Sony DCR HC28 camcorder going. Now, um, I did the uh, trick with the battery on the load motor, but I wanted to clean the mode switch. You can see right there, beside that gear, you look at this copper wire that I've um, uh, installed just temporarily to show you where I put a teeny bit of contact cleaner with the spray tube. You know, there's the video head, there's another shot of it. But anyways, yeah, you want to target just a little tiny bit of spray. Maybe even spray um, inside a rag to get used to the nozzle before you take a stab at it because you don't want to drench it. And then, of course, I just uh, took two wires. I used uh, stiff 110 house wiring, North American style. And you've probably seen lots of videos of this. But what I did is I targeted... Uh, let me just give me a sec here. I targeted that motor right there. What you want to do is take, hang on, okay. I took these uh, two wires and I touched either side of the terminal. Now I did it with the positive up here and it didn't move so I thought okay it's all the way gone through its mode so I put the positive down here positive here negative here it started to load of course I had the battery out and it unplugged and then um, I basically so I tried it the way the internet says this this uh, terminal as the plus and that as the negative but um, I had to do it backwards. But anyways, yeah, and then I cycled it back and forth, loaded it up and down um, to basically, uh, you know, clean the mode switch. I did it quite a few times. And I know this is a way of repairing it by apparently the load mechanism goes too far and then it gets jammed and you have to back it up. But in my case... I had to go a slightly different direction with the polarity, but either case it worked well. But I want to say, want to do, okay, what caused this issue so it doesn't happen again? Hopefully, so I uh, got the service manual from down uh, in the internet and for free, and basically uh, spotted the mode switch, which is right there. And that's the little wheel with the wiper. So I basically ID'd it on the on the explode diagram, then ID'd it on the unit itself, sprayed a teeny bit of WD-40 in there or any contact cleaner, just a bit, and uh, and then back the motor up, and uh, yeah, it's now functioning perfectly. So, anyways, uh, there you go. Hopefully this helps, because I know there's a lot of videos about backing the motor off with the battery. Oh, I had to use 4.5 volts. The service manual recommended that. Um, but anyways, I tried 1.5, but then I was going the wrong direction. So I don't know whether it worked. But I got variable power supplies, and so it worked quite well. But yeah, brought it back to service. Take care, Internet.